What is going on you guys? Brandon here aka Bawadis and today I'm here with Jasmine and today we wanted to come to YouTube and post more of a serious sit down video that's going to answer a huge question that a lot of you guys have been wondering. You know, um, we know that this has been really confusing to you guys, my supporters, and so it's not right for us to continue doing whatever we are doing and not give an explanation to you guys because you guys as supporters mean so much to me and my life and you guys mean so much to Jasmine. So we figured that today we wanted to sit here, explain our situation and clear up the confusion that's in the air. So um, about a month ago, me and Jasmine broke up. It was a month, a month and a half ago. Yeah. You know, we were going through some issues. We had some problems, just like every other couple out there does. And, you know, at the time, at the moment, we kind of thought that those problems were not fixable. And in the moment of the issues that were brought upon our relationship, we kind of, again, in the moment, we just... What am I trying to say? So in the moment, we thought that they were like big problems. So we just like thought, okay, we should just end the relationship. So we ended up breaking up. We ended our relationship over these issues, over these problems that we were going through. No matter how perfect we looked on camera and everything, like our relationship is good, but every couple goes through like problems, arguments, disagreements, whatever. And then obviously, as you guys know, I posted a video on YouTube explaining that me and Jasmine broke up because in the moment we had broken up, we thought we weren't going to see each other anymore. Yeah, it was real. It, it was very real. We really like thought it was done for sure, for sure, for sure. We thought we were never going to see each other again. No. We thought we were never going to speak to each other again. We said our goodbyes. We met up. We gave each other a hug. Yeah. There was some tears. Crying. I cried. You cried. Yeah. Crying and stuff like that. It was a real breakup and it was um, a real breakup but it was weird because it was like kind of on good terms like well the reason i think it was on good terms is because like nobody caught one another cheating nobody caught one another lying yeah. so the trust wasn't broken we just broke up like we said there was some issues going on in our relationship that we just thought in the moment we couldn't move past yeah. and so we decided to break up yeah because like if you ever fight with your significant other in the moment you're so mad like you're just like oh but then like obviously once time passes it cools down then you're like well is that a reason to end it i still love this person i still care for this person just to prove okay we thought we were so done with the relationship and so done with each other after we met up and said our goodbyes hug kissed you know said i love you for the last time like we said a lot of tears involved we blocked each other's numbers because we were never going to speak again we thought we were never going to see each other again we went our separate ways obviously meaning jasmine was never going to be in the videos anymore so i made the breakup video posted it to youtube and now i'm going to get into this whole confusion and and what's been going on with this relationship because mm -hmm. you guys might be saying wait brandon so if you guys yeah. went your separate ways you guys broke up why is Jasmine still here? Why is she holding your leg? Why are you guys still together? Well, this is where me and Jasmine feel like it's right to clear up the air and clear up the confusion. Explain it to you guys. Be honest with my supporters because you guys have done so much for me with my life, so I don't want to hide anything from you guys. So, um, babe, would you say after we broke up, how much time passed before we reached out to each other again? A couple of days? <laughs> Not even a week. Not even a week. So, um, okay, this is the answer all you guys are looking for. So if I were you, I would, I would pay close attention to this part. So um, we break up. I post the breakup video. And this is what happens off camera. This is why you guys are so confused because none of this has been posted on the internet. So we're going to give you guys the inside scoop right now. We break up. A couple of days pass by. Like Jasmine said, not even a week later. I'd say two days three days max we both kind of reach out to each other and we were so like i guess you could say still in love and mm -hmm. we still wanted like just a piece of each other that even though our numbers were blocked on iphone we went to instagram <laughs> to dm each other yeah. so even blocking each other's numbers still didn't keep us apart and you're gonna show them a picture of like us on instagram and the reason why you guys think it's fake because like we were texting on instagram but it's because yeah we had each other blog but we were like respectful like i thanked him for all like the beautiful moments that we had together and he said like thank you too and we kind of tell each other like yo were the issues that were going on in our relationship were they a big enough reason to break up and never see each other again pretty much yeah the problems that we were going through as boyfriend and girlfriend yeah, we understand that there was problems, but would you rather like solve the problems and fix all these issues or would you rather break up? What would you rather do? And and when I was saying that, Jasmine said something that actually, it, it like hit me, it made a lot of sense. What did you tell me? I said I would rather stay together and fix the issues that I have with the person I love than 
end the relationship and start over again with somebody else. And that actually hit me. I was like, because then I started to think, I was like, as long as there was no cheating involved, lying to each other's faces, you know, the trust wasn't broken. All the issues that we were going through and the problems we had, like, I feel like every couple in the world has problems. Every mm -hmm. couple in the world has issues. So I think it's just important to know that like, yeah, we're happy and yeah, we're a great couple and stuff, but like every single couple in the world, people argue, people don't agree on things. We just figured that pretty much every single couple in the world goes through problems. No relationship is perfect. So why are we going to end a relationship that was so good because of some issues that in reality are probably so normal to other couples? You know what I mean? So yeah, we reached out to each other, like I said, two or three days after we broke up. And yeah, Jasmine hit me with that line. Like, I love you. So I'd rather fix the issues with you than go find somebody new and start over with that different person. And that, that kind of hit me because I'm like damn me and Jasmine have been through so much together and we spent so much time together that I can't even imagine repeating all those memories yeah. and trying to do all those same things for a different girl starting over with a different girl and it yeah. It just hit me. I'm like, were the problems that we were going through really that bad to where it makes sense to break up and never see each other again? And so we decided we wanted to come together as adults, meet up in person yeah. and kind of just communicate like, yo, we know we weren't oblivious. We weren't trying to hide the fact that there was some problems in the relationship. We were going through some tough times, just like every couple does. So we did put those things out there. We did say we had problems, but we both decided that instead of breaking up and ending the relationship, let's try our best to be mature adults, communicate better, fix, fix things, things yeah. and just try to solve these problems. Try to work through these issues. Try to fix mm -hmm. these issues that this relationship has. Um, that's why we decided to sit here and give you guys the truth because the truth is we really did break up. We really had our issues and our really problems did. and a couple of days go by after we break up and we already hit each other back yeah. up. We like already we reached... couldn't stay apart. We still wanted to be together. We both know we still wanted each other. We still had love for each other. I think the main thing was like we just didn't want to stay away from each other. So we couldn't stay away from each yeah, other really two days after our breakup <laughs> and we're already talking about meeting up and yeah. fixing the problem. So and guys, if I'm being honest, something that annoys me and I'm sure it annoys Jasmine too, is all these comments of people accusing us of faking our breakup. I mean, I get it. I'm not going to act dumb and act like I don't see why you think we faked our breakup because obviously we post the breakup video. We say we're going our separate ways and we're never going to see each other again. Then you guys see these TikToks or secret pictures taken of us hanging out after the breakup video. So I get it. But does it ever occur to you guys that it's perfectly normal for a couple, a boyfriend and a girlfriend to have some problems, go through a rough patch in their relationship, take some time apart. And then in that little bit of time apart during their little breakup phase, they kind of realize, hmm, we miss this person. We love this person. We want to be with this person. We see a future with this person. So like, let's work things out yeah. with that person. And you know, it's perfectly normal for a couple to break up or to go through a little rough patch or to have their problems and then reconnect after a little bit of time and be like hey jasmine i know we broke up but i really miss you mm -hmm. and then brandon i realized too in this little bit of time apart that i miss you and i don't want to be with anybody else guys it's and that you make me happy Thank and you. you're funny you make me happy too but guys that's what like really annoys me because people jump to the conclusion of oh they faked their breakup when in reality it's perfectly normal for a couple to break up and then like i said a little bit of time goes by they reconnect and tell each other those things i missed you yeah. you know i understand we broke up i understand we have our issues but let's let's talk as adults let's communicate and try to fix these problems mm -hmm. so we can live happily ever after yeah. and guys i feel like anybody watching this video that has been in a relationship like you guys can relate to what me and jasmine went through like you guys have probably went through this yourself in a relationship with you and your partner it's perfectly normal for two partners to go through some stuff have some issues those two partners break up because they think the problems are too big to handle and boom you guys break up and then a little bit of time passes and you guys hit each other back up and try to work through those problems we feel like that's completely normal and like i said you guys probably could relate if you've had a partner before you guys have probably been through that and no relationship is perfect you because know because i'm not gonna lie like during the breakup i really did think it was over so like i was sad I was going through depression. I was like not leaving my bed, not leaving my room. Like I was, Same. I was so, so depressed. Like I've never been that depressed in my entire life because I literally lost the person that I love. Like I lost my best friend. Um, so it's like sad. Like he's the person that I did everything with. 
Wait, I don't want to cry. <laughs> don't cry. Don't cry. We're good. We're, we're good. Yeah, like Jasmine said, after we did break up, in those couple of days of no contact where we had each other blocked and we weren't speaking to each other, I was depressed too. Like you guys saw my depression. So I had lost the girl that I thought I was going to marry over some petty issues that we couldn't work out in our relationship. So I guess, you know, what I'm trying to say is if you and your partner break up, but you still have love for that person and you know, you're not ready to let go, you still, you still believe that that's the person you want to spend the rest of your life with but there's some issues in the way instead of breaking up and going your separate ways what i've learned and i'm sure what jasmine has learned is don't do that don't break up don't ignore each other don't try to throw the love away if it's still there instead of ignoring the love that you guys have instead of breaking up try to come together and fix those issues try to see what you can do communicate talk about things um set your boundaries fix those issues if you do still love each other and we had a lot a lot of deep conversations like like we had like five deep conversations that lasted like two hours which was really good yeah and that's the phase that me and jasmine are in right now so i guess this is the answer everyone is looking for me and jasmine right now we are not dating like <laughs> we're like we're like trying to see if this like we're giving like a test run like we're hanging out we're basically like dating but like not it's, i think we're just like trying to see like how everything's going before we like make it official I, I know how to explain it so um the phase that me and jasmine are in right now like she said it's kind of like a i don't want to say like a test run <laughs> but like pretty much after we broke up and then we met up a few days later and talked about all the issues that we had there was a lot of promises made from both sides there was a lot of things we both said we were going to change a lot of things we both said we were going to fix Fix, and a lot of things we both spit out there uh, ideas of how to fix the problems in this relationship how to make this relationship healthy positive and just how we can make this work mm -hmm. so now we're kind of in a phase where we want to see if those were just words or if those words are going to turn into action and i am going to change everything i promised her and she is going to change everything she promised me and we're in a little trial test run right now to where we want to make sure that everything is going to be smooth before we get back into this relationship so yeah, yeah we are hanging out we're with each other mm -hmm. we are we we're are together like we are together also. like i said we're just in a little phase where we're trying to fix things we're communicating better we're we're trying to come up with solutions to fix the issues we've had in the past and make sure they don't happen again and if all goes well in this little test run of us hanging out then we will date again you know if, if all these issues are stuff that we are able to fix and all the promises we made to each other are promises that we're able to keep then we would like to date again you know we we would like to give this relationship another chance we have no problem doing that um and then obviously vice versa if we give this little test run and things i promise don't change things she promised don't change and the issues that we had proved to be just too big to move past and we have too many problems then i guess we just weren't meant to be we won't date at that point and i guess that would just be the universe telling us that yeah we weren't meant to be but at least at least if that does happen if things don't end up working out between us at least we can say we tried we gave it another chance and we tried our hardest we didn't just give up on each but other i don't want that to happen Cause like I do want to be with you and I want this to work. Me too, of course. I would love to, you know, end up marrying you and everything works out beautifully and you know all the promises we made to each other are kept and yeah. you know that that I would love that too. I want to be with you too. I don't want to start over with nobody else. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, guys, that's I guess that's what everybody has been wondering and that's the answer to your guys' question. Brandon and Jasmine, we are still hanging out. You guys will see us together. We are with each other and I guess we'll take the next couple weeks the next month i don't want to put a time frame on it yeah there's I no time pressure yeah there's no pressure no time but we'll take just a little bit of time and see if this relationship is fixable if that's the case then we will end up dating again brandon and jasmine will be boyfriend and girlfriend again and you guys will be the first to know trust me yeah you guys will be the first to know and then, and then if it doesn't work out like i said then i guess we just weren't meant to be mm -hmm. then we really go our separate ways but at least we go our separate ways knowing that, that we, we tried we tried and we didn't give up on each other when we were still in love we, we gave it everything that we had you know yeah. so it was like kind of weird like being away from each other because we we definitely still had like love for each other and miss each other a lot there was so much love and there still is so much love that we both have for each other so i think respect our decision and trying to work it out because our feelings are like very strong towards each other and we cannot stay away from each other and we love each other very much we're like peanut butter and jelly on a more serious note it's time to end today's video all i ask from you guys since me and jasmine sat here and gave you guys the answer you were looking for and we were completely honest with you guys and we're not hiding anything from you guys all i ask is one thing in return please be supportive 
um, don't give us any hate. Just show some love in the comment section because our relationship right now, we're kind of in like a little bit of a healing like we're trying to work things out yeah. um so we don't need any negativity we don't need any hate we already went through all that when we broke up we already went through the depression mm -hmm. we went through the anxiety we got a bunch of hate we were sad you know we went through that when yeah. we broke up we don't need that right now when we're trying right to now fix we're things. just trying to be like happy together exactly we just want positivity we want happiness and we just want things to work and you guys play a big part in that if you guys are positive and you guys are supportive towards this relationship it would help us it would make us yes, happy yeah. and that's all we want right now is to be happy with each other so please respect that for me no more hate no more saying we fake the breakup no more clowning on us we just want positive vibes we want to be happy with each other and hopefully one day in the near future we can call each other boyfriend and girlfriend again that's all we want without further ado i hope you guys appreciate that we were honest with you guys and it has been your boy brandon aka Brawadis. and jasmine and we're out peace